guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing this Halloween look I'm doing Sally from the nightmare before Christmas um, I plan to do a few of these videos but um, I wanted to start with this one because I really love the Tim Burton movies so the first thing I did was cover up my eyebrows and I didn't record that part because there's so many tutorials on how to do it and I'm not that great at doing it anyway so I will just link a video down in the description of uh, where I learned to do them so the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking my CC Beauty flash palette and I'm taking this like on a flat brush and I'm just putting that all over my face I forgot to film um, the color that I'm using so I'll just put it somewhere in the screen right here so you can see what color it is and I'm just painting my whole face blue and I'm using a reference picture of Sally that I just got from Google and Sally has a dress, so it's kind of like a v-neck form. So I just made a V so I could have that there for later. And then the next thing I'm doing right now is I'm basically highlighting my face to give us some dimension. And I'm using the white from the CC Beauty Flash Palette. And I'm going to take this sponge. I don't really care about the sponge, so that's why I used it. Because I knew it was going to be stained forever after using it with the blue and the white. So I'm just using this to highlight my face and I'm blending that in. And um, the CC Beauty Flash Palette, it is cream. So I'm setting this with powder. I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder. I'll also put a picture somewhere on the screen even though you probably know it looks like a Parmesan cheese or whatever. But um, this is cream, so I don't want it to slip and slide anywhere, so I'm setting that with my brush now. And now I'm taking my face paint palette that I got from Amazon. I will have it linked down below, and these are water activated, and they dry down completely, so there's no need to set. I'm just giving myself kind of doll-like eyes to make my eyes appear bigger. Then I'm taking my 3.5B from Morphe, and I'm going to use the dark blue shade to contour my face to give it more dimension. And if you haven't noticed by now, I do have red hair in this video. I got a can of spray paint from Party City. It was like $4 and it was awful. It made my hair super crunchy. It was impossible to brush out and it wasn't even enough to cover my whole head. I'm going to put a picture somewhere on the screen of which one I bought. Uh, don't buy it. Save the money. Buy something better. Thank you so much. And now I'm going to contour my nose with the same... No, I'm lying. It's a, a lighter blue shade from the 3.5B palette and I'm going to intensely contour my nose as you can tell, you know, like I'm going ham in this nose contour. And I'm also going to put that under my lip and keep it moving. And now I'm taking the black from my face paint palette and I'm going to start creating the lines of where the cuts the cuts I guess are gonna be, the, the scars or whatever, the, the stitches. This is basically just a rough outline right now. I'm gonna go back in later and make it more intense. Now is the part where I'm gonna draw the little stitches, I guess is what they're called. And I'm making them kind of curved. I'm making them like little X's. And I'm curving them because later on it's gonna really look like they're popping out and like they're going into my skin.
And after this, I took the same blue shade that I used to contour my nose and I'm adding that underneath the white that I put on my eyes and it's gonna act as like bags under my eyes to give it more depth. And I'm taking the white from my face paint palette and I'm gonna put that on every single line that I made. And this is gonna act as a little hole that when, you know, since Sally is a doll, she has been sewn and she's been broken so many times, uh, sewn back together, you know? that situation it's gonna make it look more real so with the same blue shade that I've been using to contour my nose and I put under my eyes I'm taking it on a fluffy angled brush and I'm just gonna run that all over the black lines that I made and this is gonna give it a shadow so it looks like it's really on my body. It doesn't look like it's just sitting there. It's giving it dimension. And I'm just gonna do that on my neck. Uh, by the way, I'm not naked in this video. I forgot to mention it. I'm wearing a tank top. I just have it like down to cover, you know, the boobs. But I'm not naked. I just need to paint on my chest. So with the same brush that I was using to shade in all of the scars, I'm taking some black eyeshadow, any black eyeshadow works, and I'm going to go over it again to make it pop more, to make it look darker. And I'm going to put this on every line that I made, every line, and then I'm going to add some highlights with the white from the face paint on the little curves, and this is what's going to really make them look like they're popping out at you. And with looks like these, it just takes um, a lot of patience. The more details, the better. The details is really what ties this whole look together. So don't get discouraged. This is my second time trying this look. The first time I did it, um, my eyebrows weren't completely covered and I hated how it turned out. So just remember, details are very important if you want it to come out really nice. And right now I'm taking some more of that black shadow. Some black would mix with the dark blue. And I'm going to add that down the v-neck area so when I put the rest of the shirt on you know it's gonna look uh, real and I'm taking my benefit roller lash mascara and I'm gonna put that on my lashes and I'm taking my Ardell wispies and I'm gonna pop those on I'm going to take this Urban Decay liquid lipstick in the shade Amulet and put that on my lips. And then when it dries, I'm going to shade some black eyeshadow around the edges to give it kind of like that dirty dead look. And now I'm going to start with the dress. This is probably the easiest part about the whole entire look. It's very self-explanatory. If you find a reference picture on Google, this part will be very easy for you. So I'm just taking the pink from my Amazon face paint palette and I'm putting that on that side of my, my, my chest. And I'm going to leave a little space open on my shoulder because that's where another color is going to go. So I'm just going to let you watch the rest of the video and listen to the music because there's not much else to explain. So. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe if you do. 
I did forget to film an outro though, so at the end of the video it's just going to be a couple pictures of me, so please forgive me for that. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching and bye!